Uh, speaking of Unreal 5, though, for Hannah, how much easier has Unreal 5's tools made your workflow? Uh, actually made it work. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> it's because the thing is like it didn't really change much for for the stuff that i touch yeah. um and then the added issue on top of that was that it would it introduced like bugs and problems in the custom features that we had the custom tools that we had made right. so those needed work to be fixed and then also sort of the foley's tool for example that that i work with a lot to to, to build the world um it works differently and if you've been working in a certain way for like five years and then it changes, it's just it's just terrible. <laughs> Even if it's better, I can't really say if it's better. It's it's just different, you know, and that just if it's just different, there's no like obvious improvement, then it's worse because you have to form new habits and you have to learn the tools again and things don't work the way they you think they would. and. Anyway, and plus, you know, switching to a new engine, like it always needs a, a little time to cook to, to really get the worst bugs out. So in the beginning, there were a lot more bugs to deal with for us in the engine. So it really it's it's a really big undertaking in that sense as well. Like it will completely it could completely upend your sort of your routines and your tools and everything. Uh, and in my case, it did. Mm -hmm. um, so it slowed us down more than it helped in that regard. But you know the 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 idea is that it ultimately will help again. Like you you sort of like eventually catch up. Everything's like either back the way it used to be or better, and then you grow again from that point. But yeah, it was in the moment. Uh, it was uh, it was a bit difficult to deal with. God damn it, Epic ruining everything. Yeah, it's not it's not it's not like a it's not like an easy upgrade. Uh, because you know it's technology and it's always complicated, yeah. uh, and especially when you have custom tools, everything gets more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> by God, by the way, again, harkening back to the beginning of the stream and my short but entire week so far, mm. if changing a capture card on a camera makes OBS freak out like it did for me, I shudder to think what completely upgrading an entire yeah, engine, completely for upping an entire a game engine. project. And trust me, every game project oh. is hanging on by a thread at all times. It is, <laughs> it is, it is a huge mansion on wooden stilts in a swamp held together with duct tape. Like you don't, you don't want to see the back end of these things. It's horrendous. <laughs> it is a miracle each time a game ships and it works. Um, so yeah, it's. <laughs> It, yeah it was it's a risky move in that sense but i mean the the thing is also like this is a collaboration right it's not just that we we get the the update and we got thrown to the wolves like this is a collaboration yeah. with with epic um so yeah oh yes uh <laughs> oh no oh. panda bear productions no uh <laughs> the solution is not to make your own game engine it's not it's really oh. not <laughs> It's the well. same problems, except you don't have documentation for anything. And you don't have, like, people on the internet that know how it works. So it's just worse. <laughs> <laughs> there have been many, many people that have made their own engine, and it works for them. And then anyone that has to go in and do things will suffer. Uh, and it's just the same. It's honestly, like, engines, the, the biggest ones today... Their barriers of barriers of entry are kind of, especially on real, they're kind of high anyway. So it's like yeah. going any any less developed than that is just uh, daunting. <laughs> also, if you met that sarcastic, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, has there uh, there's 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 a few triggers for certain like most developers, and I think that one's one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh no, oh god. The flashbacks. Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh. 